Welcome back. Was that fabulous? I knew it would be. Okay. So sometimes you're given a figure and one of the side lengths is missing. And you have to find that length using the perimeter. This figure might be more fun if we made it a spaceship landing pad. Okay, let's find the missing side length of our spaceship landing pad. There's a few ways we can do this. One is we can start with the total perimeter, and then we can subtract off each of the side lengths that we do know. Then we'll be left with the side length that we don't know. So in this case, 21 minus 5, 16, minus 2, 14, minus 6, 8. Okay, now is there another way to do this? Yes, you're in luck, there is. Remember that you can add all of the side lengths to find the perimeter. But in this case, we're missing one of those side lengths. But we do know the perimeter. So now we can add up what we do know, which is 5 and 2 and 6. That will give us 13. Now we just need to know how to get from 13 to 21, which is 8. Okay, let's try one more of those. Here, we're given the perimeter, and we have all of the side lengths but 1. So let's start with our total of 24. Let's subtract off what we do know. 24 minus 4 is 20, minus 5 is 15, minus 5 is 10, minus 2 is 8, minus 5 is 3. Great. Now let's try it the other way. We're going to add up all the sides that we do know and still leave a spot for the one we don't know. If we add what we do know, we get 21. Now we just need to know how to get from 21 to 24, which is 3. Okay, now you're a super expert at perimeter. Go try a few of those on your own.